Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Listic Healing Choices here. Now, today's video is another fascial gun review. So, this company, Every Fun, whose logo looks suspiciously like something else very much popular, reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a gun and if I would review it. So, here we are. Here is said gun, and we are going to review it. So, before we get into it, please like, comment, share, subscribe on this video because it helps the channel out a lot. But, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so here we are with the Every Fun Percussion Massage Device, the M3 Pro, as this model is. So, got another logo, got what colour we've got here, so we've got a black one, and just some shipping information here. Here we have the contents of it. So we get five different heads. First one I've seen with an air cushion head, so I'm interested to try that one out. Five massage heads, five vibration modes, lower noise level, we'll test that in a second. T-shaped streamlined design, LG battery, and 10 hours plus runtime. That'll be another interesting thing to try out. Intelligent timing shutdown, so I guess the time itself, we'll find that out. Light, weighted, and portable. So, let's crack this open. And it looks like we have an actual case. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got logo on that side, logo on that side. It's a soft case, as you can see, it squishes pretty well. Okay, this is the right way. No! Nope. <laughs> Everything's out. Okay. So. Your Eve is the way to go. Open around this way. We can see. So here we have the charger. Here we have the gun itself. So let's have a look at. So here we have the air cushion head. Pretty cool. We have the ball head. Nice and simple. We have the hammer head. Nice and easy. We have fork. And I think these are all a lot larger than any of the other ones. I'll put them up against the flow one. And we have the bullet head. The recover fun one right here. And no, they're about the same size. Cool. So there's the five different massage heads. So I am guessing that this one fits over the top of that one like so. So I'm definite. So this one I've read on their website is for the joints. So I'll be interested to give that one a go. So we have a bit of warranty information for the device. We have looks like a bag. Okay. So a very similar sort of bag to the recovery fun one. Which I have right here. Which, as you can see, it is absolutely tiny. Uh, the recovery fun one, I think, is a little bit thicker, but they're very, very similar in both logo and everything else on there. And just a simple drawstring one. Again, here we have the instruction booklet. We'll have a look through that, see what sort of things that they claim in there for this one. plastic bag, the actual gun itself. Now this is actually pretty big, as you can see. Get that one out of the way. Now I'll compare it with the flow in a second, but yeah, pretty big. When you do compare it with the flow mini. So we've got a longer handle, so possibly a bigger battery, and even the yeah, the size of the whole thing. If we throw in, we want to try this one. This head and hold. Okay. So we can see sort of the range on it. Now, I don't know. Looking through the viewfinder here, this is going a bit faster than that. But okay, let's crank it up. So we've got our battery indicator here. And here we've got our speed indicator. 
Through the viewfinder, that looks a bit weird. Okay. Four. Now we're starting to cook with gas. And five. So five power levels there. And as you can see, it does get a little bit lighter. And especially with this shotgun mic that I've got on here as well. Pointing straight at it. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. Let's see what it does with the out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Get it. Now, I know how that looks on the camera there, but it is actually going a lot faster. Oh, yeah. Especially. Oh, yeah. Get it. So, pretty impressed with that one. Does it stand up by itself? No. Oh well. Can't have everything. So, you've got a nice travel case. If you can fit that in. If you can't, you have a nice little bag to put everything in. As well as five different heads. That all seem to be pretty... They're plastic, but they seem pretty good quality. Like I'm trying to push those in. They don't seem like they're going to break anytime soon cheaper sort of quality on the ball head but that seems to be the flow seems to be the only one that I've seen that has like a really quality sort of head on it but this one it will do the job but that is what's in the box so this does have a 12 millimeter or the same as the flow mini range of motion so it beats a recover foam one there, but the recover foam one is a whole different bag. It's very much smaller. And as reading straight from the instructions here, using internal balance, low power and high speed, every massage fund device has a surging power source. With a high speed up to 3,200 revolutions per minute, reaching 12 millimeters deep muscle groups, quickly crushing the lactic acid generated after exercises so that the thrill of excitement sweeps every muscle cell which brings comfortable experience directly into the body. Legit, word for word, that's what it says. <laughs> also, which will be up for the test, it does reckon it's 45 decibels. Low noise, mute, enjoy the moment of relaxation. So it is a brushless motor and states that you can use it in a noisy gym or a quiet office. Please boldly deliver your body to it. Crush fatigue and soreness in silence and immerse your body and mind in peaceful and relaxing time. And we have a 3200 milliamp 10 hour battery with a four hour charge time, so it says. So, and the duration of the massage gun varies according to different parts in order to avoid too long of a massage time, which is a nice feature. If you don't know what you're doing, then it's a good thing to have. So after 10 minutes of continuous time, it will stop. Having a look at the gun nice and close. It is, it is a nice sleek design and it does feel well weighted. So it feels like it leans in to the body. So as you're massaging, you don't need to put any real force in behind it. But let's just test that out. If it has a stopping power, oh, and it does, and it breaks the whole system. And we're going again, but oh, that actually hurt trying to stop the bloody thing. But, oh, Jesus, yeah, now it takes a fair bit to stop it before I break it. So, pretty impressed, pretty impressed with the quality and the build of this. Like, it feels very premium. It feels a lot like what you've experienced, so, with the flow, as well as a recover fun one as well. For a cheap -er sort of device, you're getting something that looks quality. It looks like it will last the distance. Okay, so here we are with the sound test. So talking here now, I'm sitting around 
70 something. So as we hold the thing up, you can see it's around about 60. And it gets about the 70 on the second. So it hits about the 80 decibel level. The 42 decibels, yeah, not really. Although even if, you would have that there, you can quite clearly hear or talk over it. So that is the sound test. So now let's have a look at charging the device. Now, every phone did provide a multi-multi adapter I don't know whether they send this out with everyone or whether it was just uh, for my purposes being in a different country where just the charger has just a standard European, I think American style plug. But one thing I have found is the supply connector that fits in here also fits in to the Flow Mini. So I will try for every fun with the Flow Mini's charger, but We'll get to that at a later stage. So one thing I will say is that the charger looks cheap and probably is quite cheap. But given that too, the flow... Okay, and we got a light on there. And... We've got blinking lights here indicating that it's charging. Now, it doesn't look like... Nope, so once again, Another massage gun where you cannot use the device while it's charging. Just see how long that takes, roughly, as well. Given that it is too on a bit of a full charge. And we'll get to see what it's like when it's charged fully. Okay, so, have left this charging all day and the house is not on fire. So that is, to me, a good sign. And it still works. Okay, but I am noticing too, so ever since I did the stop test on it, these lights have been going on and been left on. So there's a little bit of a glitch or bug or something in there and I'm not tempted to open it up to check it out because I don't know how this one, I would say the top just comes off there, but just a little bit of a, a wiring thing I would say. Okay. Okay, and for what's normally our last little test, the Amy test, can't be done as Amy is away at the moment, so it'll just have to be done on myself. Yeah, so you've got a decent amount of power in that one, as you can tell there. So let's oh, get it on my calves there. Because they have been absolutely brutalised. Got a few sore points on them. You can see there that I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. It's basically just touching and it's causing a good amount of vibration through my leg. Chucking it up another level. So level two. Oh, that does feel good. Oh, I'm right there, right there. So yeah, if I was to push in, that would hurt like crazy, but that feels pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels like it's just melting through. That tension. Oh, that's good, actually. That's really good. Going up higher. That's up so high that like it's vibrating that fast that it almost feels like nothing's happening. But, yet even as I push in a little bit further, it doesn't feel that bad. You can 
I can feel my whole leg shaking there. And going on to the last. <laughs> Jesus. To the naked eye, it's moving that fast that you can't even see it. Pretty much like you just get the outline of it. Once you put that on yourself, oh, it does feel pretty good. Yeah, no, a good bit of pain there. So that is this one in motion. And if, what I didn't do for that, is if we have a look inside, you've got what is a plastic casing in there. So that whole thing there, I don't know whether you can see that real well, is plastic, so there's no metal in there whatsoever. A bit of grease, as you expect, but yeah. And all plastic ends on these ones as well. So I've just gotten back from the gym, uh, doing some PT, and we're going to test it out on my ankle, which I have hurt, and hasn't been that bad lately. And I didn't do a lot of calf raises or anything like that, but given that I've already got a pre-existing sort of injury there, let's have a look at what this specific head can do. So I've got the airflow head on there. Now, where is it? Worst on the front there. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so I don't apply it anywhere where there's specific pain. Although that honestly doesn't feel too bad on the joint. I move it up. Here we go around the knee. Well, what? That's not too bad actually. And I am pushing into that. As you can probably hear, the pressure change there doesn't actually feel too bad. That's oh, I like that. Oh, that actually feels really good. So I think we jet. Oh, okay, that's a bit. Oh, yeah. So lower pressure for that. <laughs> but this head seems to be the goer for joints because while there's uh, there's pressure, it doesn't feel too bad. Like it's not as solid as putting that or the ball one or any of the other heads directly on something like if I oh yeah no so well done guys so well done every fun for this yeah air cushion head this is a fantastic little device so should you buy the every fun m3 pro massage gun hell I think it's a pretty competent gun in the terms of the amount of force it applies, the length of the battery, the weight of the device, the quality of it and the build, all add up to pretty value packed for the price of this unit. Things that I dislike about it are very minor gripes. So one, that it didn't come with an Australian plug for me. Two, this little ball thing feels a bit cheap, but in that too you get a specialized head here that I haven't seen anywhere else for your joints, which is awesome, I think. <laughs> I think it's very unique, very cool, very good selling point there. And yeah, it flexes and moves, so it's better for your joints. Puts it on par with the Flow Mini that I paid for, about that price. So about that 250 Australian range. And you can get this from their website. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in that one. But yeah, once again, cheaper if you're American or depending on where you live. But given that, you've got a very high quality, sort of very high pressure massage gun if you want that. With five settings, five speeds, and all the different little heads and stuff as well, you can't really go wrong. For the size, for the battery life, for the quality, and having a case as well. Oh, I almost forgot that this one actually comes with a fantastic travel case that will keep this the device safe as well as all the heads and everything else in one spot. Like, I mean, it's even got parts to keep. If you can see that in there, it's got special ports for all the different heads and your cables, as well as you can hold your instruction booklet there and anything else as well. Like, the case alone, 
adds to the score for this device. Which I'm going to give the EveryFun M3 Pro 8.5 out of 10. I like it. It's on par with the Flow Mini. Not quite as well designed or small or whatever. Actually, I think the Flow might be a little bit heavier. And with the Recover Fun one, nowhere near as portable as that one. This one you can stick in your pocket, but someone might think you're trying to rob a bloody bank or something like that. If you walk around with that hanging out of your pocket. And apart from just this minor little glitch here that I've discovered, this is quality. This is good. As long as you don't try and out muscle and stop the bloody thing. I don't see any faults at all with this. So my recommendation is that this is a very good product. This feels like a very premium sort of grip on here. It's tough. There's nothing shaking around in there. Well, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. And I'm going to continue to enjoy the hell out of it from all on after all my workouts and all that. And two, the manual is absolutely hilarious in its broken English from some of those examples that I provided earlier. And two, it also has a brief little guide in here showing you how long and whereabouts the muscles are to massage for yourself. Something that I haven't seen in any of the other manuals or anything like that as well. So that is also a nice little bonus. If you don't know where or where those muscles are located or what you're doing, if you have no basis of anatomy, it's always a good little learning point and the speed and everything else as well. And it has a cutoff timer as well. So if you fall asleep, it's not gonna just drill your arm until it runs out of battery 10 hours later. The EveryFun M3 Pro, 8.5 out of 10. I highly recommend this product. So a big shout out to them for sending me this and letting me review this. And hell, that's it for this one guys. I'm gonna go enjoy this massage gun. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe as well. What massage gun or what company do you think maybe I should reach out to in the future? Leave your comments down below. What do you think of massage guns or fascial guns? Do you recommend them? Do you use them? But anyway guys, that's it for me. I'm Rob Murphy and I'll see you in the next video.